Ken Rock, from, uh, this win, obviously, just how special it is. Last time, your, your Suzuki's last win in 2016 at RCH. Uh, what does this bike do different? What feels different? Anything stand out better? Um, well, the biggest thing is that I, be I believed in the bike. Like, I, I jumped on it, and um, it may have not been perfect by any means then, but overall, I know that the bones of the bike are, are good. And it was a big move, you know? I, I don't know if anybody has really seen it coming. And that's what I meant. Like, there were a lot of critics, but I think there was a lot more stoke than anything else. And, uh, but then to actually make it happen is a whole nother story, right? And we've had a little bit of a rough go this whole entire year. Um, but at the same time, tonight, it all came together. And I think that's what makes this so, so special for, for me, for people in the industry, friends, family, my team. First ever win for my team. I think that's more what gets me hyped is the win for me first and foremost, but to deliver it to the, to the other people on the team. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's absolutely amazing. Those, that last lap or last couple laps and Barsh was coming and there was a little bit of mistake there at the end. Was, did the heart rate spike? Was there a little bit of panic or you feel you had it? Heart rate was up, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> heart rate was definitely up. Um, I actually got screwed by a couple of lappers and one of them was my teammate. I actually don't know if it was Kyle or Shane. I it really, was Chiz. It was Chiz? Okay. Yeah. I don't think, you know, everybody always tells me, and Chase is the same thing. You can't hear me when I'm behind those guys because I kind of just lug it around everywhere. So we were going through the whoops and he ended up like going wide and just going into the main line. And I thought I had, you know, then I was right on his thing and jumped on the tabletop, but then rolled off of it. And that, those kind, when we were at that stage of the race, the guy that's behind me, when they see me, I have to roll this and they gain on me. It makes them that much hungrier. And with only two, three laps to go, whatever. I mean, I was ready to just, if I was going to throw up, I, I didn't give a shit. Like whatever it took, if I pass out, I don't give a crap. Like I was. I'm like, I'm bringing this thing home. And, and of course, you know, to actually do it is another thing because believe it or not, three laps is actually very long when somebody's on your ass the whole time, or at least for, for that. Because the, the track was so gnarly, like you couldn't, you can't just smash it around the thing. Like you gotta be precise and, and let the bike move and um, just play with the whole thing. And, um, but at the same time, you can't, he was going all out, I was going all out. And you know, at that point, things can happen. Um, luckily, we were able to make history. Two more quick questions. Uh, having your peers come up afterwards, Adam C. Cirillo and the other guy just come around and congratulate you. The crowd going nuts. That, that, that had to make it a little more special. Like everybody it, wants you to win. It really, it really was. I mean, seeing, I, I wouldn't call them enemies, but my competitors and other people that I don't necessarily care for coming over and, and, and genuinely being, they don't have to do that. You know what I mean? Like that was something that I've never witnessed. Um, one of the coolest things of the night, for sure. I was so appreciative. I mean, I had a lot of friends come over, but like I said, even guys that um, normally wouldn't, I think they appreciate how hard it really is to pull it off. And um, this was a big one, for sure. Um, we've talked a little bit about maybe what your plans are, <coughs> long-term career goals. Does this that's win, it's get fired back up. Does it change anything at all? Feel any um, different? No, I want to stay content, honestly. This is something I'm definitely going to enjoy today, tomorrow. Um, other than that, career-wise, I'm focusing on what's, what's right now because I've had my own, um, a lot of things that I had to do over the past couple months, just test. There was a lot of things on my plate, right? And now I finally, I feel like I cleared a bunch of stuff out. With, I'm able to get a, um, a normal rhythm in, and um, I'm just going to focus at the task at hand. And, you know, it could look a lot, it can look a lot different next weekend. Like, I'm just going to, I really want to dial in my starts a bit more to make them more consistent, find myself up front. My fitness felt great. My bike has been great. And... Now it's on me. Awesome. Thanks, man.